Welcome to today's practice. Before we begin, be sure to hit that notification bell, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Danielle Henry, and I'm here in Franklin, North Carolina. Let's begin by lying down on your back. A little love for the lower body. To begin, start by lying down. Welcome in some long exhalations and relax. Place your hands on your belly with your thumbs touching and your index fingers to touch, creating a triangle over your navel. Feel the belly start to descend as you breathe out through your mouth. Start to elongate your exhalations. Feel your eyes beginning to relax and your eyes settling. Now feel your inhalations through your nose and begin to connect movement to the breath, bringing the arms up towards the ceiling and back towards the wall behind you. Inhaling up and back, exhaling up and back down by the sides. Finding mobility in the shoulders. Now bring the knees into the chest. Place the hands right below the kneecaps and begin to move the knees away from each other. Feel the circles getting slightly larger. Breathing in and breathing out, in and out. You can start the movement in the opposite direction, still staying connected to the breath and feeling the eyes and the jaw relax. Beginning to move inwards, letting the outside world fade away. Now stretch the left leg long and interlace the fingers below the kneecap on the right shin. If that's not available, reach under the right hamstring. Draw the knee towards the chest. As you exhale, press the left heel into the earth. Slide the left hand onto the left thigh and move the right knee towards the right shoulder starting to stretch the left psoas muscle in the thigh. Gently releasing, lift the foot up towards the sky, placing the hands behind the right hamstring. You can start to press the right foot up and back with a gentle bend in the right knee. If that's not available, Feel free to use a strap or a scarf around the leg at any point and make a few circles in the right foot, pointing and flexing with the breath. Feel the belly gently relaxing with each exhalation and the head resting on the earth. Continue to press firmly into the left heel Release the leg, bring the knee back down to the chest and release and let it go. Moving to the second side, bringing the left knee into the chest, interlacing the hands once again right below the kneecap. If that is not available, go for around the hamstring. Right hand on the right thigh as you move the left knee to the left side of the rib cage, feeling the belly rise and descend with each breath, noticing the places where you're holding tension from your long walk or your busy day. And as you feel your exhalation, begin to let go, stretching your left foot up towards the ceiling, interlacing the hands behind the left hamstring, 
bend the knee ever so gently and then over time you can start to straighten the left leg as you begin to knee back into the chest and then release the leg down to the earth. Pause for a moment, feeling your body supported. And then roll to your side. You can use your bottom arm to support your head. And take your top hand to cover your eyes, bringing the knees into a fetal position. Pause and reflect, noticing any shifts physically mentally, and emotionally. Let the eyes stay closed and push yourself upwards. Begin to make your way into table position on all fours. Start to move with your breath, inhale into cow pose, and exhale into cat pose. Feeling the spine begin to flex and extend. Let the movement be steady and slow to the sound of the breath. Start to stretch the right foot back behind you, pressing it down into the ground, shifting forwards and backwards, feeling a stretch in the calf, lifting the leg up and across the left side, feeling the same movement, but getting more of a side body stretch into the hips and the low back as you look over your left shoulder towards your right heel. Bring your foot back to the center of the mat, taking a long breath, drawing the navel in towards the spine gently. Step the right foot forwards between the hands, tucking the back foot under. Push your body upwards as your hands come onto your front thigh purposely rounding the back, looking down towards the navel, feeling a stretch in the top of the left thigh, feeling balance by pressing into both feet, making your way now into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here, pushing down and forwards in the hands lowering the body back into table position, preparing for the second side. Left foot reaches back behind you, starting to shift forwards and back. Then take it across the right leg and begin to feel the movement once again in the ankle, stretching the calf. Look over the right, stretching the left side body. Deep breaths into the belly. Feel your weight evenly distributed through all 10 fingers. And pause when you feel any tightness. Take an extra breath if needed. Lift the leg and bring it back to center. Step it forwards between the hands into low lunge. As you bring the hands up on the front thigh, Rounding the back just like cat pose. Push your back toes down and forwards. Upper back is rounding. Feel some space in the top of the right thigh. Feel the back body similar to cat pose. Slow, steady breaths. Body and mind is balanced. Lower your hands and float them up to the sky if that's available and set them down onto the mat once again, stepping the left leg back, returning into table, and then into downward facing dog. Let your knees be slightly bent, lifting the sitting bones up and back, pushing your hands and your feet evenly, and then lower down onto the hands and knees and into child's pose. Breathe into the sides of the body. Slide the hands under the shoulders and begin to lift yourself up so you're sitting on your knees. Now come down onto your bottom, bringing the legs around to the front. Take your right leg and bring it back towards the side with the top of your right foot pressing down. If you can, 
lower back. If not, stay right where you are. You can lift the sit bones up and tuck the pelvis under. Let your eyes close, feeling your shoulders supporting you. And if possible, lower a little further, one step further. But remember, it should feel good. So if it's too intense, stay in the upright position. Notice if your knee is lifting. If you need a little bit more, you can let the left knee fall to the side or let the arms reach overhead and onto the earth. Many options. Breathe steady and slow. Let the mind relax and the body open. Now the easiest way that you can lift yourself upwards and begin to shift back onto the sitting bones as you gently release the right leg out in front of you, rotating the ankles clockwise and counterclockwise. Setting up for the second side, bring the left leg back, pressing the top of the left foot onto the mat, bending the right leg if needed and coming onto your forearms or possibly descending a little further onto the earth Remember, the progression is optional. Stay where you feel you can breathe smooth and steady. If you'd like, drop your right knee out to the side. Feel free to use a pillow or a block under the right knee. Be sure your left knee is down on the earth. Breathe smooth into your left thigh, opening up tight muscles letting go of any fears, any worries that you're holding. Feel the peace and calm moving through the body and mind. Lifting the arms overhead if you'd like for one or two breaths before you lift your body back upwards. Remember to release the left leg gently. Stretch both legs out in front of you and move the ankles clockwise and counterclockwise once again. Now you can cross your right leg over your left thigh above the knee and bring your left hand onto the foot. You can place each finger between each toe and begin to move the ankle in both directions. Try to close the space and stack your right knee on top of your left knee with your left hand on the right ankle and your right hand off to the side for support, engaging the left leg muscles, beginning to open up the hamstrings and the hips. Of course, if it's too intense, take your right leg back into the figure four shape position. Pause right there and breathe. Be patient. Once you release the pose, switch to the second side. Interlace your fingers into the web of your foot. Slow, smooth breaths, rotating the ankle in both directions. Moving a little further, stack the left knee on top of the right knee and press the top of the left foot down as you flex the right foot hinging forwards from the hips, using the left arm as an outrigger to press down, moving your body forwards. Breathe into your hamstrings, your hips, and engage the right leg, keeping the hamstring safe. If it's too intense, return back to the figure four shape position and hinge from that place. Always remember to start from where you are each day. Bring both legs out in front of you. Use your elbows, being kind to yourself as you start to lower down to the mat. A reclined pigeon pose. Place your hands behind your left hamstring, 
right ankle on top of left thigh. Press the right ankle into the thigh for a little leverage and try to have your head and shoulders on the earth, taking three to five breaths and then releasing. Once you let go, let the left knee drop over to the left side, keeping the right ankle right where it was and looking towards your right hand, breathing across the body and into the right IT band. Lift your right leg up towards the sky as you exit the pose, pressing your palms into the earth, lowering the leg ever so gently down to the earth, stretching both legs out, pausing, and feeling the difference between the two sides. Exhale out and let go. Let's move to the second side. Bend your legs, cross your left ankle on top of your right thigh, moving the left knee away from the left shoulder and bringing the hands under the right hamstring, interlacing the fingers and flexing both of your feet to keep the knees safe. Find the sweet spot to breathe into the hip crease, inhale into the chest and soften in the hip crease. The left arm can come out to the side as you release and let the right knee drop over to the right, eventually letting the left foot press down into the earth, moving the left knee away from the right shoulder. Return back to center, bring your head back to center, stretch the left foot up to the sky with the palms facing down and lower the left leg down to the earth. Stretch the right leg out to meet the left. Turn the palms to face up and separate the feet a little wider than the hips. Close your eyes. It's time for Shavasana. Let your body be still and start to relax your eyes, the face and the jaw. Feel your arms and legs, let them both get heavy. Feel your belly descend and soften. Let your eyes look towards the center of your chest in the center of your being. Settle in this place of peace and undoing. As you hear my voice once again, Know that you can stay here for another eight minutes or so. I highly recommend a 10 minute Shavasana. I'll link one below in the comments. Otherwise, if you're short on time, begin to move your body slowly with your breath as your eyes stay closed. Feel the ankles and the wrist start to move. You may lift the arms gently overhead and take a stretch and then roll onto your side. Let the eyes stay closed until the very end. Support the head and cover the eyes. Perhaps set yourself a new intention for the rest of the day. Then begin to push yourself upwards, finding a nice, easy seat of choice that's comfortable to you letting your head drape towards the heart. Begin to push the head up with the use of the hands, feeling the spine nice and long. Let the hands rest on the knees, chest open, feeling the breath, filling your container, your beautiful breath, coming in and going out. Allowing all of your gifts rise to the surface, preparing you for whatever lies ahead in your day to set you up on your journey in your life. Let's bring our hands together slowly to touch. Let the thumbs rest on the breastbone into Anjali Mudra. Thank yourself for your practice. Bring the thumbs up to the third eye clarity of thoughts, down to the lips for kind words, 
and moving the thumbs down to the chest for actions that reflect your heart and not our emotions. Namaste. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on what type of yoga content you would like to have next. Have a beautiful day.